Teeling Wonders of Wood Virgin Portuguese Oak. This is the second in this series from Teeling, and it came in number 18 on the 2023 Whiskey Advocate list of top whiskeys. Beautiful box, great bottle, but is it really living up to that hype, or does it disappoint the way that the first one did? Stay tuned for the review. Find out. Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. Today we've got the Teeling Wonders of the World uh, finish. This is the second release from them uh, in this Wonders of the Wood. Wood, sorry, Network. Wood. Wonders of the Wood. This is virgin Portuguese oak. It's funny, it's normally used to craft, sounds very similar, furniture, furniture. things like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's not that it can't be used for barrels, it's just uh, it's not a common thing that's to be used for barrels. But it's their standard teeling, and then it's finished in Portuguese oak barrels. Very cool presentation. Very cool. Now we got a little fancy thing going on there. Love a distillery. This is a brand new oak. This is... I feel doing, like this is like Christmas going on right now, boys. Yeah, they're doing fancy things here. Like Whole lot of stuff in there. Yeah, a lot yeah. good information Gosh. about everything that it does. Uh, teeling is it's 50% malted and 50% unmalted barley that they use to make it. They do the normal triple. That's distill. their standard. That's or, their pretty. That's yeah. That's their standard mash bill. Gotta say that. Um, love the distillery. Love them. They you know do the the standard Irish triple yeah, distill, like all that kind of wonderful stuff. Yeah. You, Who's the name on the front there? Um, Alec, Alex, somebody. Should be Teeling, or it's the... It's on the front of the bottle, too. I saw it. Distilled by Alex, somebody. Whoa. I can already smell the wood. That's uh That is a sexy presentation, I must say. Yeah. So, 100 proof. Gotta love that. They did go down to the... Uh, that's a 700 milliliter bottle. Oh. <laughs> so, which they open that up. Fit in the box. Yeah, yeah. fit in the box. More on the all shelf. The, all the fancy stuff that it takes up. Um, but yeah, it's uh. Pay more for less. The other fun part. So this was the mm. 18th, number 18 on the uh, Whiskey Advocate Top 20 for 2023. Okay. Mm. This was number 18. Definitely would. A lot more wood impact than normal Irish whiskey, which normally you don't get a lot of barrel oh, God, it's like the savory wood. It's not sweet. It's like the savory. The mall they the picked honeycomb. it for a, uh, it's apparently very tanniny. Uh, I was going to say. Was, was kind of the, the reason why, that's what Portuguese oak kind of does. Hmm. But yeah, it's you still get the honey. You I still get. use it for wine, the tannin. Probably. It's spicy, peppery. Uh, but then there's. Real savory. Wow. A little fruit and some malt. That kind of I get through. the honeycomb type cereal note, okay. which we pick up on a lot of <clears throat> a lot of the Irish whiskeys. Mm. Maybe yeah. a hint of citrus, just a touch. Yeah. A lot more barrel notes on the palate. Yeah. There is still like a hint of the sweet, like the honey and stuff like that, but the pepper note. Oh, and the, the, cow, the wood, the wood, wood and the very like even going down. Immediate pepper and, and wood. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's drying. Oh, right in the middle of my tongue. But there's still like there's. Hints of their sweetness at the end of that sweetness that that you normally get from a teeling whiskey. Tea, not teeling as tea, but I'm tasting. It's like, like I just herbal finished tea type thing. An herbal, really savory it's like, herbal tea. It's like Maybe. after you eat something, like your your back of your throat just feels itchy, like cantaloupe. It's different or honeydew, where it makes your back of your throat a little itchy. Yeah, I don't eat honeydew, but <laughs> I eat cantaloupe. <laughs> now the bat the it's. Finish was different for me. <laughs> I love the nose. I love the the initial palate. Maybe it's I don't know because I just kind of let it sit on my tongue for a little bit. But as soon as I swallowed, it was just a little bit of heat, and then just I got the wood. Yeah. Gosh, I wish I could explain the nose of just other than savory, but there's so much going on in that. Like savory's not a wrong word though. It's like this spicy, but it's not like it's not like a high rye spice. No. Nope. Something. It's it's. It, it, it's a there's it's cracked pepper nice, of nice sorts, and rye. Yeah, now, now, I, now I'm like, oh, I get the mint. It's borderline vegetative or, or it's very herbaceous. I guess yeah. I would say that, which makes me think that's I guess that's why I'm saying I get that tea, the herbal Sorry? tea. I don't disagree with the tea. I, I mean, it's it's like ripping for off me. It's tea more bag. of like after you make a tea bag, you smell the tea bag after you're done, after you're done, after after you're it. done yeah, yeah. and you can before you toss it in the can. Oh, my palate is weird. 
So interesting. Like the note, I, if the palette was more like the nose, I, this would be great. The palette goes a slightly different direction, um, but warm. It's, uh, the, I mean, the tannin from the barrel definitely shows up. There's no question about that. Mm-hmm. It just burns uh, the back of your throat. It's that as soon as you swallow. Warming, warming for a hundred proof. Yeah. Definitely got like a little chest. You just get that, that bite in the back of your mouth though. I don't get it. I don't get as sharp on the tongue. Like the first sip was like, whew, like right in the middle of my tongue, and it was hard to get anything on the outsides. But that that I'm getting more sweetness, and it's kind of lending to like a to, uh, tobacco sweetness. I think that's I'm on the borderline of the like the tea I'm, and the tobacco. So I'm gonna so to your tea point, like a fruit infused tea of some sort. Okay. Is kind of where I'm getting, but not like, like a super sweet one, like, you know, a, like the snapple. Like a raspberry, yeah, yeah, like a snapple. No, not snapple. I can, I can get on that. I can get on board like with that. Some kind of a fruit infused, but it's not a super sweet fruit. Like it's unsweetened raspberries or something along those lines. When you said fruit tea, I was like, I'm getting that peachy yeah. wrapped in a tobacco leaf. I'm biting right oh, into I definitely it. get the tea note, but mine, like I said, it's the when you're done, like it's like bouncing it. You get the last little bit, and then you, you that it, it yeah. opens it up even you, more. Yeah, and even if you yeah. rip it open yeah. on accident, it's got legs. It's got some stuff going on. There's yeah, there's a on. there's a hell of an oil sheen coming off of whatever this barrel is. All right, let's. Is this a is this a play on the? Um, you think they're trying to rival, not rival, but you know, play along with um, tales of the or not tales of the forest, but maybe the Glimmerangi line of all the different tales. I mean, no. Oh, this is their first, first time doing this? Second. This second is the time. second release. What was the uh, first one? Was it still Portuguese oak? Or was it no, it was work? a different... It was a... Ch- Chacapin... I can't... I, I'll type it right here. You'll see. Yeah, you think they'll do it's an some, it, It's actually... <laughs> it's a North American oak. My first Irish I've ever had was a tea lean that you brought Regular tea lean. Yep. No, it was, yeah, it was over your place. Okay. It's right down there. Like, wow, there's some uh, <laughs> biscuits going on, and there yeah, was all kinds of absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. It evolved, and as it sat on the counter, woo. And that, the Black Pits was really cool, yeah. like a smoked version of that. They've definitely done some really... I've got a rum finish. ...really great whiskeys. This is like they're the first of uh, Wonders of Wood. Eh. I, it didn't it didn't wow me. Like didn't I was like, oh you. man, that was. So I was kind of hoping that this was going to step that game up. It stepped the game up, but it went in a weird it's, direction. It it's not wowing <laughs> me like, ooh, I, well, yeah, I want to I want to go get a bottle or give me you know another pour or two. Right. It's just the the finish it's for very, me is just it's weird. Yeah. All right. One. We've now added water, and it's been marrying for a little while. Yeah, we got a couple minutes going on here. Let's see what's going on. I think on. that's better. Wait till you taste it. That did... It's in the still... It didn't, like, totally overwhelmingly change it, I feel like the nose, but it's better. The nose flattened out a little bit for me. Yeah, it did. You're but still right. the same notes. Yeah. Still the same notes, but it's not as... It sounds aggressive. As it's aggressive as... in some of the weird spots. Ooh, it's sweeter, too. It is sweeter on the way on the back of the finish. I do like a barrel of water. But it doesn't change it's anything. It's weird. It's, it's just like... so much barrel note for an Irish whiskey that you're not used to. Irish whiskeys aren't known for the barrel no. impact. They're known for the distilling process. That's the whole point of the triple distilling. That's. It is weird. So i got to say, Portuguese oak might be the second most, I guess, impact full wood that I've ever had in, in whiskey before next to Alberana. This is that's impactful. Yeah. There's a lot of impact. There's it's a just, lot of stuff going on. It's a little weird. Well Teeling should try the Alberano next. I believe they did a distillery release. It doesn't help us. <laughs> it doesn't help us. I mean you could book a trip. I'm going and I'm gonna bring <laughs> the one I finished and have seen. try this. this is what you guys should be doing. So you're keep, talking keep about a right ninety dollar release. Um, I get it. Like you're, you're sourcing weird woods. You're doing an extra finishing, all that kind of fancy stuff. Fancy box. Yeah. Real yeah, fancy. $20 box. is probably the box, but that's now two times I've pulled the trigger for a $90 bottle that yeah, it's a swing and a miss. Yeah. It's I'm, not quite there. Yeah. I had higher expectations. Not I was quite excited. There. I mean, I was really excited when I saw Teeling and that, Fancy box. <laughs> so now we'll come back in a month if you leave to see if it opens up. Yeah, now, yeah, now it's a we've taken down the neck pour. Yep. 
Yeah, maybe that opens it up, get, brings in a little bit more sweetness, and and gets. But that wood has a lot of impact, and it's different. Almost too much wood mm. to whiskey in that, because it's not like a charred barrel wood note that you get off of a bourbon. It's it's just wood. Yeah. <laughs> It's like he soaked would. it in lumber. Yeah. yeah. I think it would hold up to a cigar if you're a smoker. I would agree. This that would that could work. They cigar. could play together. And probably would, it definitely would mellow out the harshness, especially if you didn't need it without any water. It would. I like it better than water, though. Me too. I hate to say it, but I'd like to try a gold rush with this. <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think honey would really do a wonder. Adding a sweet this. note to adding it. Adding a honey syrup to this. Yeah. And absolutely. a lemon. I mean, I think this is more of a, tea notes you know, the honey or kind of an apple sweetness definitely yep. would help this. Yeah. Apple cider syrup. Yeah, because there's a touch of that citrus, but it's so buried behind everything else. The citrus to me is like when you, the honey like, was when you there peel with an the orange malt. and like you just okay. smell the inside of the rind. Yeah. It's just. It's there, but it's not like it's if not you super sweet or, or bite into the orange right or you there. zest it. Like you're yeah. just getting that. Eh. Yeah. Hey, I I will say I appreciate you splurging. Yeah, for sure. No, I, again, both of us were all three of us are excited to try it. Yep. Yes. We love the distillery. I love the experimentation. Keep it up. Agreed. And I wish more distilleries would do the different wood different, finishing. Different wood Absolutely. finishes because you know we we got introduced to it with the Abaranu. The Mizunora. Yep. I mean, yeah. some of those are hit or miss. I mean, some are better than others, but we've enjoyed it. Right. Yeah. So hopefully these guys keep keep it up. Yep. Hopefully it's not two releases and they're like, ah, screw it. I'm done. It's different. Do you like tealing? you like Irish whiskey? Try it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's very different. It's 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 interesting. It's interesting. It there, there's no question about that. It, it's a it's a heaven experiment. I would, if I'm going to yeah. recommend something, if you see it at a bar, try it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'd pull the trigger on another bottle of this one. They come out with a finish. Any of these else, releases, if you see it at a bar, yeah, try it. Yes. Because you're more likely not going to find it at, a, at your normal liquor store. Right. Yeah. So if you see it on a menu. It does open up. It's right? so much sweeter yeah. that last That nose keeps had. coming up and it's just a little bit more. So, yeah, I, to your point, uh, and that'll be fun to come back to in about two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed our eh, review. <laughs> 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 wasn't great. wasn't bad. It was just kind of eh, in the middle. For yeah. me, and I think I'll maybe speak for the two of you as well. I like one. the wow, though. I like the tealing. Yeah. Wow. That's what we were expecting. Wow, wow I wanted to be wow. It said marketing. It's not it's quite that. Way. So, well, if you did, uh, we'd encourage the uh, the support of the channel. Encourage you to hit the like button at the bottom of the screen. Hey, we'll throw a link up to some of our other tealing reviews that we've done and uh, all the wonderful things that they have put out that we really do enjoy. Yep. Yeah, right. for sure. Well, thanks for joining, and we'll see you on the next episode. See you on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.